What's up, folks? I was Bangkok Hooker here. We're at Don Muir Airport. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Bangkok, this is where our first airport came. I think this is the first. I don't know. I'm not a historian. But in the time I was a kid, this was the only airport. Now it's used mostly for domestic flights and the occasional small, short distance flights to the neighboring countries. Today we're going to Malaysia. This is Chuan Wei of Sport Fishing Asia. Thomas, huh? Thomas Higashi. And Yusaku. Let's go to Kuala Lumpur. You don't see them like this anymore. The watermelon one, because I'd like to add. We're on our way to Kuala Lumpur in Chuan Wei's car. And I just want to talk about something that's quite heartbreaking, and that is the palm oil industry in Malaysia. I mean, you're looking at ridiculous amounts of deforestation and all the deforestation is happening and all the labor is actually not even local labor. And if you look, you'll see it's just plantation as far as I can see. I mean, at some points, you'll be on top of a hill and you'll be looking out and you'll see nothing but plantations of palm trees. You're looking at an entire horizon of this and it's not good for anyone except for just a couple of people who are getting richer off this, ridiculously rich off this. So, if you can, don't support these businesses. Is there any barramundi around here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Kuala Rampin, a small little agriculture town many years back. But what happened was, some guy came here, did some sport fishing, and found that this was a perfect hunting ground for sailfish. And because of that, he kind of started a tour business and the locals started following suit. And right after that, it became a gentleman's agreement between all the other boat owners here to not kill sailfish. Because of that, you're looking at a thriving fishing industry where people come from all over the world just to catch this sailfish. Is that amazing? An entire economy shaped by sports fishing. If only Thailand could be like this too. That would be super epic. That's going to be our home for the next few nights. That is the sea urchin. Let's give you guys a look. How luxurious this thing is. We have a sink. We have a table. We have a barbecue under this, underneath this. Yes, this is the salon area. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hi five five sister. You guys decide which room you guys want to take. So there are charging ports here for your mobile phone. Oh, what? I didn't even have to bring my own. Mm -hmm. Invite the chef does his work. I should. Uh, I've lived in apartments with kitchen worse than this. <laughs> this door here. Okay. Mm -hmm. You from? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> is this called a yacht? Yes. And so, I'll be fishing from a yacht. There's a bathroom here. What? <laughs> There's a bathroom inside the bedroom. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> oh my god. Shower. Oh my gosh. Look at that view. Look at that. Oh, gotta see you outside there. The switch is here. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where I'm sleeping tonight, and yeah, it's pretty epic. <laughs> well, so I guess it's time to go to bed in this super comfortable bed and wake up and go do some fly fishing for sailfish tomorrow. So good night, sweet dreams. See you tomorrow.